and he slashes at you with this six inch retractable claw. So if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you've seen this movie, as well as remember this scene, and this will be the template of which I'll be making this pendant. Sadly I won't be able to give the full six inches that the movie suggests, but instead downscale it to a more workable size of two inches. Let's get started. We start out with a simple trace out of a claw on a piece of paper, and tape said piece of paper onto a slab of wax. From here, I use a center punch tool to mark out the outline of the image into the wax. Once the outline is made, I remove the tape and paper to show the outline that I'm working with, and then proceed to cut it out. With the basic shape out, we can then begin to file away the sides to bring about its shape, as well as filing down the top surfaces. Once I'm happy with how the shape is coming along, I begin to carve and hollow out the inside of the claw. Once I'm happy with the wax model, I can turn to casting. I start by filling one half of the frame with delf clay and leveling it flat. Use some flour to prevent the second half sticking to the half that we've just made and press the wax model halfway into the clay. Apply some more flour to the wax to prevent it from sticking. And then apply the second half of the frame and pack it with delf clay. Then I'll separate the two halves. And then start creating a funnel in which to pour. I also create an exit hole to allow air to escape during the pouring process. And then put the two parts back together. With the mould prepped, we can melt and pour the silver.
open up the mould to find a near perfect cast of the wax model. We can then remove the sprue and any other excess. With the excess removed, we can then go about filing the surfaces. before moving on to sanding. With the majority of filing and sanding now complete, I want to add a jump ring before going any further, as well as prepping a bale for the chain. With the jump ring and bale prepped, I go about the final stages of sanding and use some diamond burrs to tidy up the hollow sections of the claw. Before moving on to polishing the item, starting with Tripoli. and finishing with rouge. With the polishing done, I turn my attention to the chain. This is 50 centimeters of four millimeter loose curb chain, and I'll be attaching these end pieces to each end. I'll then be sure to polish them. Before fitting a jump ring and lobster claw to complete the chain. With the pendant and chain both complete, I can thread the chain through the bale to complete the item. And here we have the finished piece. This thick boy weighs in at 31 grams and 55 grams including the chain, and I think it looks pretty damn cool. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.